Welcome back. Today we're going to look at if statements. So what are if statements? It's a way of checking and filtering out what action we need to perform. So to give an example, I'm going to create a variable. Let's say we have a vaping website and we want to check um, if the user that enters our website is 18 years old. So we can create a cons variable. So let's say they are 18 age equals let's say 20 okay so what we can do with the if statement is we can check a value to be equal to something or bigger or less than something and then we can execute a code um, depending on which condition they meet all right so to write an if statement all we have to do is write if and then we write parentheses and in here we have to define our condition so something that needs to be equal to something or is it less than something or more than something, okay? So what we can do is say if our age is, let's just say more, so bigger than 18, and then we can do brackets and we can execute some code here. So this is only gonna run if the age is bigger than 18. So if we console log here, you are good to go. And hit save. This is gonna return us, you are good to go. All right. Now what happens if we put 10 here? Nothing. We don't get the console log because this doesn't meet our condition. So what this happens here is basically this is going to either return true or false. So this is false right now. Age is not bigger than 18. It's 10. So 10 is bigger than 18. It's not. It's going to return false and it's going to just not run this code. Cool. But what if we want to run something if this is not true? So since this returns false here, we want to execute something else. So again, to make it sound plain English, we can just say, hey, if age is bigger than 18, then run this code, else run something else, right? So that's exactly what we're doing. We're going to write else, and then we're going to open up brackets again, and we can write whatever we want here. Um, so since we don't reach here since our age is smaller uh, than 18 we can do console log you are not old enough hit save and since this is 10 we're gonna get you are not old enough great so again what's happening here is age is 10 and we're gonna say if our age is bigger than 18 which is not so this is gonna be false then it's gonna it's gonna skip this because this is false and it's gonna go into our else statement here and it's just gonna console like this but what if we have multiple uh, things that we need to check what if you want to also check 21 so what we can do here is add a enter here whoa 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 not for backslash enter like so and what we can do here is write else if so this is used if you want to check another condition, okay? So maybe you want to check if it's bigger than 18 or let's say we want to check if it equals to 10, for example. So what we do is we just add another condition here. We don't need to add the condition here because if this is not true, it's just going to go to this, all right? But here with else if, you need to add another condition. So let's just say if age is smaller than 15, like so. And again, we need to do brackets and we can say console log. Wow, you are really young. Why are you even here? <laughs> All right, hit save. So what's gonna happen now is it's gonna look at our if statement 
is it bigger than 18? It's not, so this is not gonna run. It's gonna check else if age is smaller than 15. Is it 10 is smaller than 15? It is. So this is gonna run. This is not gonna run anymore. So truck going by again. Thank you so much, truck. Peace out. Shout out to the truck. Subscribe to his channel. Uh, yeah, we're gonna execute this one. Cool. Now, if this was also false, so if this was not correct, then it would just go to the else statement. So age is smaller than 15. Well, let's put 16. Oh, he's coming back. Come on, truck. Let's do a collab. Oh, never mind. It's another truck. It's a blue truck. Hit save. Okay, so now age is bigger than 18. It's not, so it's going to skip this part. Else if age is smaller than 15. It's not. It's 16. So then it's just going to go into our else statement here. And what we can also do is we can check if it equals to something. So we can do bigger than or smaller than. We can also do equals like so. So rather than doing a single equal, which is usually you use it to assign something. So when you create a variable up here, you use equals to 18. So you're just putting the 18 value into the age. You're assigning the value. Again, the box, you remember the box, you're just throwing 18 in there. Uh, so you cannot do this in here because what we're doing here is we're checking the two numbers. All right, we're not assigning a number, we're just checking. And what we need to do here is, it's gonna be quite tricky because we need to do triple equals, all right? So this is how you compare the two numbers. So if age triple equals 18, then we're gonna get you are good to go. Okay, so why do we use triple equals? We can use double equals too. That's gonna work just fine. As you can see, you are good to go, but we usually use triple equals. And why do we do that? Well, because there are some bugs that you can encounter. And the reason is, if this is a string, for example, well, that's gonna throw an error because 18 is not equal to the string 18, okay? We wanna compare the numbers, not a string to a number. So that's gonna, that's not gonna be true. So it's gonna go into, so this is false. So this is why we use triple equals with two equals this is gonna be true, as you can see. So with double equals, basically, um, even though this is a string, JavaScript is gonna be like, oh, never mind, that's good to go. And we don't wanna do that. We always wanna compare two things that are the same value type. So we wanna compare a number to a number. We don't really wanna compare a number to a string because it doesn't really make sense. What else can we do here? Well, we can check if it's bigger or equal to something. We can do that like so. So if our age is bigger or equal, like so, hit save. And it's gonna say you're good to go. If we set this to 19, it's still gonna say you're good to go. And obviously we can do smaller or equal to. So this is gonna be you are not old enough because we're on 19, but if we do 18, that's still good because we say if it's smaller, or equal to, okay? So this is gonna be both 18, so from 18 going all the way down, it's gonna be good. Let's say we're playing Monopoly. So we wanna say dice one equals two. Let's say we roll a six and dice two is gonna roll a three. Cool. So what we can do here is we can also check if dice one, let's say equals, triple equals six, and let's say I want to get the second one too. So what we can do is say the and and sign like so. And what we can say is dice two triple equals six. So if these two are, are correct, then we're going to get to this console log. So here we can say you rolled a double. And here we can say you didn't <laughs> like so. So what this is gonna do is basically it's gonna check through both of these. So it's gonna say dice triple equals six. This is true, we are getting six. And dice two triple equals six, this is false. So this is not gonna run. 
as you can see here, you didn't. So to get to this statement here, we need to roll both of the, so both of these statements need to be correct. So that's when you use a and uh, symbol here. So you need to use double and. Uh, what if one value is correct? So maybe you only want one to be correct. Well, then you can use this. So this is a normal straight line. I apologize, I don't know. I know the correct word for this, but it's next to your, I mean, depends on your keyboard layout, I'm not sure. For me, it's on the hashtag, so next to the enter sign, enter uh, key on my keyboard. So we're gonna use this, and what this does is just gonna check one value. So if one of these is correct, then it's just gonna run this. So we're gonna get you roll the double, even though we didn't roll a double, but it's gonna check, hey, if this is correct, or, again, this is called the OR operator, dice two is six, so as long as one is correct, then we're gonna get into this IF function, all right? So yeah, those are IF statements. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please drop a subscribe, and I will see you in the next part. Bye-bye.